Hey y'all. Uh, today we are going to be going over seat belts and I finally did it. Um, let me start off. Uh, I wouldn't do this upgrade if I wasn't trying to get it uh, legalized for the road. Um, so th this isn't an option needed for a golf cart uh, just for every day unless you want to be super safe like if you have smaller kids. Um, but I'm doing this in hopes that uh, Wake County will get back to me and give me the thumbs up for getting a little license plate for this. Um, this install was super easy, uh, especially with already having installed a rear passenger seat. Um, let me start with, and I actually saved the box this time. This is a Husky seatbelt system. I uh, found it on eBay. Uh, I want to say it was, you would think I would remember this, this was recent. Um, I want to say it was like $60, $70, somewhere in that area. And you can see some kids get a little bit more expensive, a little less expensive. Um, but what it came with was the mounting bar. Uh, it looks like an eye. So, uh, it's this top bar here bolted on with this silver bolt. I do want to, uh, go get a matching grade eight steel, uh, just to keep the, the uniformed look. And this bolt is incredibly long. This is the hardware that came with it. Uh, the reason that they're this long is because if you didn't have the seat on here, the instructions show you how to mount the seatbelt bar to the existing uprights and you need longer bolts to, uh, create a, uh, it, it's essentially pinching the upright with, uh, these two metal plates. So with the rear passenger seat, I didn't need, uh, to work with the uprights here. The rear passenger seat had an extra tab, or the tab on the rear seat extends up higher than the seat itself because it then allows you to bolt directly to the frame and the rear passenger seat without needing all that additional hardware or just using a simple friction pinch connection. Um, so that was a very nice uh, forethought uh, by the GTW brand rear passenger seat so uh, props to them for thinking ahead uh, but the bar itself I want to say is 35 inches wide so it does not protrude past the body of the golf cart it just hangs out in this little area here um, you will see most golf, golf carts say no step uh, so that's okay this is unused space it's perfectly fine that it's here it's not going to interfere with anything um, but with it being an eye, you have, uh, or essentially an eye formation, you have one mounting point back here, which I believe is about an inch, inch and a half away from the center line. And then going this way, you have a longer arm, which has two connections here. And I think this whole arm is about four inches. Uh, so you can mount it either way on the golf cart uh, so that you have more extension going forward or more extension going backwards. It just depends on where you mount it in between here. Uh, it came with the mounting hardware, came with the, the seatbelt bar, and it came with four seatbelts and four buckles like this. So regular style automotive seatbelts. Um, I did find something in here that I didn't see listed anywhere on, on multiple different types of seatbelts, but I'll go over that in a second. Uh, the rear passenger seatbelts, I've mentioned this in a previous video, that seatbelt bar doesn't interfere with the uh, storage that I have, which was really nice. And you can see that the seatbelt here doesn't come past the uh the back support so you're not getting you're not hitting your butt on this and it being uncomfortable and then two more buckles in the middle here i didn't really get to show this but you can see they have the same type of arm setup coming from the center bar same thing 
for the buckles as the seat belts and it's your preference you can put the seat belts on the inside and the buckles on the outside I liked the seat belts on the outside and the buckles going to the middle um, that's just how they do it in vehicles so I figured why not just keep it the same everything seems to be very rigid with the setup I'm not seeing any rotation issues so everything is pretty darn solid on here and the seat belt or the seat belt buckles let's go ahead and show you they're actually steel cables in here so they're flexible you can move them around um, but they're not just flopping around you know bouncing off the seat and the the body to where it's all rattly and making noise and is just not tidy um, so I really really liked that it just everything stays nice and compact tidy out of the way looks nice and very functional uh, I was a little worried on how the seat belts were gonna play with uh, the bucket seats the normal bench seat in a golf cart these are really convenient nice you just pull it out go over your waist simple as that I wanted to keep that same simplicity with the bucket seats so uh, when you're sitting in there this will actually just come down a little bit the seat naturally wants it the seat belt to ride up but had a couple people sit in here they've put on the seat belts we didn't notice any issue with the seat belt riding up our stomach or anything like that um, but here's the funny little thing that I didn't know about this particular type of seat belt. I don't know if it's just limited to the Husky uh, seat belt brand, but it's an automatic retractable seat belt and it doesn't have the, uh, the quick catch like you would in cars and that comes from crashing if you, the seat belt stays loose uh, in a car so that you can move around, reach way forward, get your drink or something that fell down. Uh, but if you get into a wreck, if the seatbelt yanks quickly, the seatbelt locks up. These seatbelts don't do that. They do something a little different. You can pull this out, go around, click it in, and the slightest bit of the seatbelt moving backwards engages the seatbelt brake. Notice how I can't pull this out anymore. So their thinking of safety is... Once you pull this out, buckle it in, and the automatic tensioner just kind of pulls it around your waist, you are not getting any more out of this seat belt until you disconnect it from the buckle, have it retract mostly back, back in, and then you can pull it back out. Uh, that way, the seat belt stays taut and locked so that if you were to wreck, um, the seatbelt itself doesn't rely on the initial pull of the seatbelt and the inertia generated from that in the mechanism to engage those locks. It's already locked. It's kind of the same thing like a car where you pull the seatbelt out so far that, and then um, it engages that lock, the, the child lock. So that's what they have going the entire time on this seatbelt. So I wasn't aware of that. Um, it, it doesn't, I haven't found that it interferes with, any, with anything, uh, it hasn't been uncomfortable, but that's something nice to know before getting something like this, um, just figuring out the expectations of this thing. So, um, the other thing that came in the box were very nice detailed pictured instructions, uh, so if you're installing this with either having to clamp to the uprights or install onto a, a predetermined mounting point. The instructions take you through that. Really simple and easy. It took all of about maybe 20 minutes. It came with all the hardware. Like I said, I'll just be replacing this to be more uniformed with the other one there. But um, I really like it. It it wasn't an upgrade that I wanted to do um, because I like the freeness of a golf cart where you can just hop on and go and jump out as you please. But this is all done in hopes that, uh, they'll say yes to getting, giving me a license plate. Um, but other than that, 
third video this weekend. It actually turned out to be really nice and sunny out. Uh, so y'all have fun uh, riding around or doing what you do. And y'all have a good one.